Thank you, Justin. I've got some puppies now because it is 721 and we've got Ron here from Petland. And we're gonna talk about the three things you need to consider before maybe getting one of these pups for your family members. I know they're getting, we're gonna be right back. Welcome back. It is 724 on Fox 28 and Ron is here from Petland, Iowa City. And we're going to talk about one of the most popular gifts during the holidays is giving pets to your kids, your mm -hmm. parents, that kind of thing. But um, some people uh, really caution against that. But there are three things they need to know before you decide on what you want to do. What are those? Well, there's a couple of things here, though. We have a little miniature pincher. Yes, little this purebred, little boy right here. And then that's something you've had in the past. And yes, then we have I've a little West, pin, little great West dogs. Highland Terrier. And, and I know I've heard about that, that there's more pets being given on Christmas. I will tell you in our store, that is is not true. No. It's the same every single month. Oh. And so I know there's differences and I think it might happen in different regions. But if this is something that you're concerned mm -hmm. about or that you're looking at and saying, oh, what do I do? There's three things that I always want to point out in understanding, is this the right pet for you? Because that's what we're all about, sure. matching the right pet with the right family. Oh. So is, you know, do you go big or do you go small? And so big would be, okay, your labs and all that. Small would be like a little yeah, miniature a little pincher. They, they only get, what, about 10 pounds maybe? Oh, not even. Yeah. And realize when you get big, everything is bigger. So mm -hmm. when you go everything. for a... Everything. You, yes, <laughs> including poop. And then when you go take a bath, you know, the, it's not just put them into a little sink. It's showers mm -hmm. or bathtubs or Hose outside. Oh, they get real big, yeah. And so realize large is everything. Uh, counter surfing, you know, with their heads and stuff mm -hmm. and eating stuff with little guys you don't have to worry about that so you got to think am i all about you know high maintenance you know or low maintenance mm -hmm. on this if you're all about a labrador retriever you're going to deal with it that's yeah. not, i'm not saying that don't right. get them for that but you're going to deal with it just know that going in that a smaller breed is going to be easier mm -hmm. consider your life and what you want yeah and then shedding versus non-shedding is another thing mm -hmm. i used to think that non-shedding meant low maintenance oh no the oh, opposite no. is true <laughs> so this little west is a non-shedding breed and so this one's going to need eye primping, grooming, mm -hmm. combing, mm -hmm. brushing, use that air Lots kit. Lots more that, bathing. Yep yeah, and all that kind of stuff and then uh, on the miniature pincher this they is. They shed a lot. Sheds a lot. They shed a lot. But it's really tiny. Yes it can get and really so, fine and get so, everywhere. Well, it, it's when you've got a large breed, you've got lots of hair. When you have mm -hmm. a small breed, you have small, less hair and everything. Yep. We have a dachshund, short hair, just like this little guy. We don't even notice the fur anywhere in the house. Yeah, so, it, so it's easier in that way. So bigger breeds yep. on the shedding are going to be more. But you can go to a, uh, a miniature pincher, a dachshund, a chihuahua, those kind of breeds, and you're going to not notice right. the shedding as much. It's going to yeah. be easier. And low maintenance yeah. is huge uh, on these smaller breeds. Then the last thing I wanted to point out was stinky versus non-stinky. Just know there are <laughs> some breeds that are stinkier. The yes. hounds are stinkier. Mm -hmm. Cocker um, spaniels, spaniels in general. I yes. Guess. Yeah. So if they're shedding dogs, they tend to be a little bit more stinky mm -hmm. in general. Uh, when you go to non-shedding dogs, they tend to be less stinky. So less bathing and all that kind of stuff is going to go on on those. So. so that's a lot of points to consider. So mo mostly, this is what you want to think about when you are at the point that you yeah. want a dog. Well, even you when want you're considering it. Because so. you know, then you're going to try things out. When At our store, we have 50 different puppies to play with. So you have a lot of variety. There is you know, big, small, all these different things you can try out. And then personality. You know, you're right. looking at what what is the personality. Yeah, because it's not just about what you you want fur wise what you want you know size wise it's about fitting in with your family too and what you want as that pet so there's a lot to consider if you want to um, check go to Petland in Iowa City I'm sure you guys can answer all sorts of questions oh, yeah. get help the them out. find the perfect puppy get the books out yep check it all out they'll be there what are your guys's hours uh, on set what Monday through Saturday we're 10 a.m. till 9 p.m. and then on Sunday we're at noon till 6 and are these guys these this little girl and this boy they're up for adoption right yes now? they'll yes. be coming down I got a little bit of a radio spot that I need to do but then uh, 10 o'clock they'll be in the store. So if you're falling in love with one of these guys, they got 